So I'll start this video as always, giving you the solution from the last video's homework, and then we'll talk about our game UI or HUD, and we'll also talk about how we can reference other scripts and interact with each other. So as always, I'll start by giving you the solution from the last video's homework. So let's select our sphere and create a new script. Let's name it Sphere Collision. Let's open it. We can delete the update in the start function and we can copy from the player collision You paste it here But you need to change a couple of things We don't need a health if And the tag won't be sphere But Capsule and if it hits a capsule, it destroys not this object, but a capsule. Now you save it. And if you try playing it again, it should work. Let's see if they collide here. They did, and the capsule disappear, like we wanted to. So that was quite simple. Let's just move the scripts to the script folder. And now let's start creating the HUD for our game. So on the hierarchy, right click, go to UI, and select Canvas. Now right click on the canvas, select UI and text. Now let's on the scene change to 2D and scroll out so we can see the whole canvas. And here is our text. Let's select it And anchor it on the top left. So hold tab, uh, I mean hold alt and click here. You can see it move to the top left. Let's change the text to score and let's align it to the middle here. And let's increase the box here. Let's say this big. And now we can increase the text. You can see it getting updated on the game tab. That's why I like to have the scene and game. So we can see what you are doing. Let's name this score text. And let's create a new one. UI text. Let's call it time text. Let's anchor it on the top right. So select here, hold Alt, and click here. Let's increase the box size. Let's set the font size to the same as the other, 47, align it on the middle. Let's change to time alive. Let's just increase it a little bit more so it all fits. 
Okay. Also, let's go to Canvas. And UI scale mode, select scale, scale with screen size. Match, set it to 0 0.5. So if you change our screen resolution, the text stays the same size in relation to the screen. Now let's start creating our script. So select the canvas, add a component, and write UI Manager. Create it. And now you can open it. Let's start by creating some variables, public, text, score. You can see that text doesn't, isn't recognized. To fix that, here on top, write using unity engine.ui. You need to write this in order to use the UI stuff. Let's add another one, public text time alive. Let's write here score text time alive text. Okay, now I'll go back to the to Unity. You can see we have two slots now. Let's drag them. So score text goes to the score text and time text goes here. Now let's continue our script. Not this, wait, here. Let's create a new function. Void update score text. Let's create a new variable here, private int score, starts at zero. Here you can write score text dot text is equal to score plus our score. Let's also create another function, void update time alive text. Here you can write time alive text dot text equals, let's say seconds alive plus time dot time to string and write this inside this will count this will count every second so if you save this and on the update call update score text and update time alive text If you now go to Unity and play the game, you can see when you press play, score gets updated to zero, and you can count how many seconds we are alive. Let's go back to our script and add a public function named increase score. And let's create a variable here 
that we can receive int amount. So every time you call this function, you need to tell it an amount. So let's say we and to call it like increase. Oh, why it's not appearing? Okay, increase score. Instead of calling it just like this, you need to set an amount like uh, like 50. So it calls a function and passes the 50. It receives the 50 as the amount. And now you can see that the score is increased with the amount. In this case, it will be 50. So if we call it at the start, if you start the game, it will call that function and add 50 points. See? But we don't actually want to increase it in this function. So let's remove it from here. And let's open our player collider. Or player collision, sorry. Now we want to say when we get a, a capsule, our score increases. So we need a reference from this script to this script. We can do that by writing here public UI manager UI manager. And now on the Unity, if you press our Q, you'll see a new slot, slot, UI manager. You can drag it from the canvas. And now we have a reference between the two scripts. Sorry, not this one. Now we can call here UI manager dot increase score and let's say by 10 points. So if we collide with a capsule, it destroys the capsule and it goes to the UI manager and calls this function and sends the value 10. So it goes to the UI, calls this function with the amount 10 and the score is increased with the amount. And that's how we can uh, call functions between classes. We need to reference them. You will be using this a lot, so you need to get used to it. So if you go, now go to Unity, and we play the game, Let's see if we have a capsule here, somewhere. Okay, okay, there's one. I didn't catch it. Oh, here's one. Ah, damn it. Let me start again. Okay, here's one. I, I got it and my score increased by 10. So that, that's a very simple way to do it. Let's just add another one, another text. Let's call it game over text. Name it game over. You can just center it on the screen, it's fine. You don't need to mess around with this. Let's align it to the center. Let's increase it here. And let's increase the font size. So we want when we die to show this screen. To do that, let's go to our UI manager. 
and create a new variable here public game object game over screen let's drag it there and let's what we want to do is to enable and disable this component so when you die it enables and while we are alive, it's disabled. So we want it to start disabled, so we can right now just disable it. And on our script, let's create another public function down here called game over. And here we just say game over screen. Game over screen dot set active true. So this function just enables the object. And we want this function to be called on our player collision when a sphere hits us. So when a sphere hits us, it destroys our cube and tells UI manager to show the game over screen. So remember it needs to start disabled, so disable it here. All the script does is activates it. So if you press play, oh, we just insta died, but you can see it works. Let me die on purpose here. See, it works. You might get yourself confused a little bit, and that's fine, it's normal, but you need to, to understand really well how the scripts interact with each other. Let's, by the way, delete the start function, we don't need it. How you can reference them, and how you can call the functions on the other script. So yeah, just if you need to go back on the video and watch it again and try to really understand it. If you have any questions you can ask them down below. And for the homework I want to when you die, it says game over and below it says your score is and it says your score and you are alive for and it's and it says the seconds you are alive. So if you die, it says game over, you're scored, and you are alive for and the seconds. So give it a shot. And if you have any questions, feel free to ask, and I'll see you on the next video.